I'm at Ridgedale Permaculture in Sweden and I'm in one of the caterpillar tunnels they are using on this farm and I really really like this design it's got sort of a straight wall on the side and there's four pieces of steel that make up the bow um, I really like that uh, some of the components in here are actually from from farmers friend in the US but a lot of people in Europe contact me about where to find a good caterpillar tunnel and so apparently these the bows are from a company called first tunnels in the UK and Richard has done videos on them before so I'll link to those videos or video in this video either followed in the show notes or you'll see it pop up as a card in the top right corner of this video but there's some features of this I wanted to show because I really I really like it first of all I really like the ridge pole I think the static ridge pole with steel uh, having used caterpillar tunnels for a number of years now I really think the static ridge pole is way better it's just way more secure especially if you're getting snow and the other thing that they did in these tunnels that I really think is fantastic is, and I'm not sure if this is Richard's design or if this is from the company, but this design for the end tunnel. Um, and this is similar to what we did on our farm. And so I, I'll have to ask Richard uh, if he kind of got the idea from us and then improved it. Because I know Jean Martin was doing something like this too. That's where I originally got the idea. Is your last bow is on an angle, but that can be a problem if it's not fastened very well to the second last bow it can kind of move around and so the reason for this is that sometimes you don't have all the space to have the plastic bunched up at the end like with the traditional farmer's friend tunnels that requires like 10 feet on the end or around there which for us in an urban environment doesn't work very well and even here they have some physical obstructions that limit them from doing that so this last bow being on an angle creates it so that you can bunch it up tighter on the back end but the way they've got these put together for strength is really fantastic. So they've got a piece of steel with a couple brackets holding it together for strength there. And then they've also got a secondary piece. So for the third last and second last bow, they've also got another piece of steel angled piece going there. So that creates a really strong end because of that angled bow you can see that there's really only a few feet of uh, plastic sticking out of the end and they do have this physical obstruction here this would be similar to what I would face on my urban farm is there's like a fence or a house or whatever there so I don't have room to have that whole plastic go to the end and it's also when you have that plastic bunching that way in the, in the traditional caterpillar tunnel is you actually have parts of the greenhouse that are covering ground that aren't really that useful because it's an angle that cuts off your last bed or two. So this way you're getting more usable greenhouse space and less of that bunching. Now I did notice that they actually do have the, the, all the, the, the stuff from the company first tunnels in the UK is just the bows and the plastic and the ridge pole. They're using all the other farmer's friend hardware, like the, um, the pieces of steel down below that the string, the rope is tied to. I think the rope itself is also from farmer's friend. And they're also using the uh, hooks that hold the plastic up, which is a fantastic design that the, at farmer's friend came up with. So, so these are sort of a, a hybrid tunnel. So farmer's friend actually do these tunnels as well. They'll do the exact same thing with the straight bows on the side. I'll have a link below in there. I'll also provide a link for the uh, first tunnels in the UK because I think ordering bent steel like this if you're in Europe from America is going to be a lot in shipping. And so I'm not so sure that makes economic sense for, for most people. For a caterpillar tunnel, these are fantastic. They're really wide. I, I counted, I just paced it out, but I counted 19 feet across from bow to bow so they have really wide walkways here they've got 18 inch walkways so they're covering four beds these are 30 inch beds or 75 centimeter beds and they've got four of them with their full walkways and even on the edge beds they've got half a walkway where the bow is coming in so it's a really roomy caterpillar tunnel so I wanted to show you guys that. I'll leave all the necessary links below in the show notes. Check it out. Talk to you later.